Here you go. Oh, did you bring a cup for Jude? Oh, a cup for Jude? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. good. When we get there, buddy, we're not going to open it right now. Mama. Yeah. Chocolate milk. Chocolate milk, I know. So thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> Welcome, much the boys. Good morning. We are heading out on this Saturday morning. It's about 9.30. We are going to like a car show. Cars and coffee. Cars, and there will be coffee there, but we still brought our own because I like it the way I like it. Uh, is this old cars or new cars? It's car. vehicles. Overlanding over vehicles, off-roading vehicles. So that's what we're doing this morning. We just picked up some bagels and breakfast sandwiches and stuff. And now we're gonna go head out and see some, some cars. technically at the car show right now but there's like a trail that goes around the property so we're kind of just exploring here I guess uh, I don't know there's like a bunch of historic like sites along the way so it's kind of cool oh there's a bridge there So it is already like four o'clock. We got home from that car show and on our way home it started to rain and it, it just started pouring even harder now. But when we all got home, we had a quick lunch and then like everyone took a nap. We were all so tired. I took a nap with Luke, Jude took a nap, Dan and Lara all napped. I think Edie is the only one that stayed awake and just read. So it was a really nice, laid back afternoon very restful so that was really nice we it was like hot this morning so it was nice to have a rest and now it's raining we were hoping to work on the garden gate the fencing at least like getting holes um you know dug and get like the initial posts put in but we actually we're kind of we were trying to order them earlier this week and kind of confused about like which pieces to get we didn't wind up ordering it but it actually it's pouring today so he's not really interested in digging holes which is totally fine so i don't know if tomorrow we'll get around to that we'll see you know like i said i don't want to stress about it i don't i as long as we get this garden up like the fence and everything get some beds you know I'm not worried so much about growing actual things this year, other than like flowers we might grow, or I don't know, we have like some old tomato plants that hopefully will come back, but it's not really, I'm not looking for like the produce, I just wanna get the structure in place, so if, you know, definitely, I was hoping this month, but if it doesn't happen this month, then so be it. Sometime this spring and summer, it'll happen. So yeah, I don't know really what we're doing today. It's a very calm day, like I said. I just switched over some laundry that I started this morning and had like an afternoon uh, little snack and now I'm probably gonna make a hot cup of coffee. Even though my iced coffee did turn out good, I 
Yeah, it just feels like a warm coffee day. We're actually watching a little show. We have like a bunch of leftovers in the fridge. I think we're just gonna do that for dinner. Just kind of clear things out and eat it all. You know, I don't wanna waste it. And yeah, we'll see what kind of hodgepodge we come up with for dinner. All right, so I've just been working in the boys' room, kind of doing a declutter and kind of refreshing their wardrobes, just seeing what like long sleeve things I can take out that they're really not wearing anymore. And then I went through their closet and tidied up a lot in here. Honestly, all that my four-year-old wants to do is dress up. So I'm gonna put them back in this basket where they belong. That, and then we have magnet tiles and trains those are a favorite and then in the top of their closet we have like um duplos no those are duplos those are i don't like the bigger legos i i forget which one they're both kind of like lego blocks i forget what the difference is and like even clothes like i this is stuff that is either Luke outgrows and I'm saving for Jude or Jude outgrows and I give to my sister who has a little boy. So I, I do need to go through that because I'm sure there's stuff in there that I could pass along to her. But I think I do have some like winter things in here, but I think I'll just leave it, leave it for the year. That's fine. That's just a good place to store it. But yeah, that's, this is honestly what he plays with this and being outside. And then these bins, I usually put the lids on and then they slide under the crib. And that's it. I try to keep their room pretty clean and simple. So I do still have some long sleeves. I can probably, probably pull out of here. I did pull some out already and you can hear the thunder. It's still really loud out there. Um, this one he probably doesn't need anymore. This one he probably doesn't need. And yeah, that's, these are all short sleeve. So he's pretty well stocked for, oh, this is long sleeve. He doesn't need that one. Oh, this is long sleeve too. Oh, okay. And then like a church shirt and yeah, okay. And then jeans, he could use some shorts actually. He has like two pairs of like sweatpant shorts, but he could use like some jean or khakis or something like that. And the bottom drawer is all hats. I think we are good on all these. This is a velvet pillow cover that we used to have. Used to have the pillow that went inside. But I think I'm gonna get rid of that. It's only an 18 by 18 and I really prefer the bigger size pillows. We used to have a couch in this room before we had the two boys in here and that was on the couch, but I don't need to keep that. It's an old, like, VBS shirt. I can get rid of that. This is a car seat thing that we definitely don't need. Okay, so this is all hats. And then usually in the summer, I'll put, like, bathing suits in here. Oh, he's got so many socks. I didn't even know I had these. Oh, I was looking for socks for him. I think these are, like, thicker, though. Yeah, these are, like, winter thick socks. But these are thin. He could use these. Okay, good. And these are Jude's. So he could use those. And then I could definitely pull some long sleeves out of here too. And then jeans. We're still in that phase where he still needs both, but I could probably keep like two or three long sleeves and then the rest short sleeve and he'd be fine. All right, so I pulled out some donations and then these i'm going to pass along to my sister and then this is all of his wardrobe we've got short sleeve and a couple long sleeve and then shorts and pants and pjs and then a couple sweatshirts and then he has like a couple like zip, zip up hoodies and this is honestly more than enough i have really tried to simplify their wardrobes just to make it you know, easy for them, easy for me. So that's, we have a couple things in the laundry. Uh-oh, are you stuck in the closet? Did you get stuck? <laughs> Can we put the light on? There you go, bye. So that is that, and then he has PJs and sweatshirts and things up there. And then 
um, just backup diapers, sheets. We just have two crib sheets and two bed sheets. Oh, uh, what happened? All right, closet is done. And then I just did a quick vacuum around the room. Feels so much better in here. I just know that little cracks and crevices and drawers are all, well, we're going, going blurry here. I know that the drawers are all now organized and the floors are clear, so I am happy about that. I have truly just found that the only way I'm able to keep a tidy home, a relatively smaller home with six of us living here, four children, it is just all about being intentional about what we're bringing in and being pretty ruthless about what I get rid of because I have learned that for myself and a lot of adults but mostly for kids like they're just excited to get things like that moment of receiving it is so exciting and you know they're just blessed to have people give them things or you just I mean we give them things they get things at church and school and it's just like all these little hits of you know excitement for them but then all that stuff you know if it just sits around it's no longer exciting anymore it's just clutter it's just frustrating they don't actually enjoy playing with it it's honestly a very select number of things that they really enjoy playing with over and over and over and it's not all the little tchotchke things that they get so you know i'm happy for them to, to get it and get that moment of excitement but it doesn't have to stick around in our home forever and i just need to be ruthless about passing things along again for myself too but yes for myself too i try to be really ruthless about what i get rid of and it just helps keep the homeostasis in our home especially i don't know i find my boys even more so than my girls like they really don't care about stuff they just want to play and do like gross motor but anyways dan is going to warm up some leftovers and we will have that for dinner and it's just gonna be a chill night in i still have to edit for tomorrow so i might do that now while he's warming that up and yeah i think that's gonna be it i'm just gonna call it a vlog here thanks so much for watching guys i'll see you tomorrow